Hi everyone, it's Stella from Irma Stella and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you everything that I got in Korea. Are you ready? Let's go! So I'm going to try and go through everything fairly quick because there's a lot to go through. Um, I was on holidays for around two and a half weeks, three weeks, and I went to Vietnam and I stopped by Korea for four days. So this is only four days worth of shopping. But I did get a lot of things that I wanted. I didn't get everything but I got most of it. And I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got. And I hope that you'll enjoy this video. Keep watching and let's go right through it all. I have an entire laundry basket full and I'm going in no particular order of brand or anything because there's too much for me to actually sort through. So let's start off with brushes. I got a whole bunch of them. Most of them, oh my goodness, most of them I actually grabbed from Daiso because they were fairly cheap, like really cheap, like this was about a thousand won. And the quality of the Daiso brushes are actually pretty decent in my opinion. And I just got a bunch of them that I felt like I needed. I got like an eyebrow one. Um, I also got some from the face shop. This one is a eyeshadow brush from the face shop. And I also got these like really interesting ones that was also from the face shop. Um, they're for their monocube eyeshadow um, products. But I'm going to be using them on others. And this one is like a very dense synthetic brush that picks it picks up um, shimmers and glitters like really really well to pack on the lid and this other one is for glitter and jelly based products which I thought was going to be really good for my moonshot products and this one is kind of like a plastic spatula but when I try to install it actually like helps blend out the product on skin really well as well so I'm keen to be testing this out I haven't come across this sort of brush before and I thought it would be interesting okay so after that I got this one oh, sorry I got this one this is the Luna Essence water pack this is the collaboration with Kai care yeah, I don't I think Kai but it comes in this limited edition um, compact and it also has an additional refill and also two extra puffs which was really cool and this is like one of my favorite packs but I actually have a lot of difficulty getting it online so I've used the one but I have one refill left at home I was just like I might as well grab another one one day before I run out of it the next thing that I definitely got was the vanilla code clean it zero I got it in the original formula this time because I was having trouble finding the Radiant one at the duty free store that I was shopping at but I definitely wanted to grab all these because I use these practically every day to get all my makeup off. And another, and another Daiso purchase. I got three of their um, blending puffs so kind of like a, kinda like a um, beauty blender and I actually have another like three or four of these at home but I grabbed another three because these are so good. Like, I honestly like this more than the Mecca Sephora ones that I've got. These, like, really, when you dampen them up, they, like, get really, really puffy and they're really soft and they just blend out really well. And they're only, like, 2001, so, like, $2, $2 American, two fifty, And I just grabbed a couple. Another thing that I got was the Etude House Wonder Pork um, Balancing Cream. Uh, there is actually a review of this on my blog and I've like finished off that first tub that I got and this one was on sale at Etude I'm guessing because the one pour line is a bit older so I grabbed this one while I was there because this is like perfect for my skin it balances out my oil really really well like no other product has, balances, has balanced out my um, combo skin as well as this one so grab one more of these um, and at, where did I get this from? Tony Wally. I just got this like random little corgi makeup pouch. Not really because I need a makeup pouch, but because this was a corgi and I had it. And at Peripara, well, not really 
at Pera Pera, but at um, Clio, I got this cushion. This is the Pearly Night Ink Lasting Pink Cushion, and it's from their holiday range right now. And look at that glitter! Like, honestly, I mostly got it for for the glitter case, but I did try it on in store. I have this in number two. This is pink beige, and it looked really good on my skin. So I was just like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Grabbed one of these. It doesn't come with a extra refill, but. That's alright, I have a lot of cushions anyway, I just wanted to try it out. Uh, I also popped by Misha, I got the first treatment essence, I got one more because I'm still going through my first one, but I got one more because it was, oh my goodness, because it was really good. I also got the first treatment mist, which is what I just dropped, and it's like the same product, I have a feeling, but this one's in a mist form, and I use a lot of mist, so I was like, this will be good. I got two, um... Essence sprays from the face shop. This is the mango seed one. This was on sale. This was like one plus one, and I just really like the spray of this one. Like it was like it's a really soft, elegant spray. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it just smells really good, and like it just sprays really lightly. So I thought it was really good. It was on sale. Grabbed two of these because. Why not? And I really hope my camera is focusing because I'm running out of battery right now. I didn't charge while I was away. I also got a whole bunch of stuff from Style Nanda. One of which is this face blush. This is from their Mood Recipe. Um, mood Recipe? Yeah, from their Mood Recipe line. This is the Rose Beige blush. I thought this was a really pretty colour. Um, and back to Peri Para. I got three of their um, ink correctors. So I got all three colors. I got the pink sh Anyway, so I got their pink shade, their like peach shade, no sorry, the lavender shade, the peach shade, and the green mint shade. Thought I'd give these a try. I really like the packaging on them as well, and they're like a cream, they're easy to use, a lot better than sticks and palettes, which is what I always find for correcting products, and I don't like to use them in palettes very well. Um, another thing from Benel Co, I got the Two Kisses Dual Tint. People follow my blog will know that I have the number one shade, and I love it. And this is the number four, number five shade, Masala. Um, they actually have a new packaging for this, but I actually went to the um, the tax-free, duty-free place to get this old packaging because I wanted it to match with my older lip tint, so I was really glad I could find that. Um, I also got the Water Radiance CC, It Radiance CC Cream from Vanilla Co. This is in their new packaging. Vanilla Co. has gone through like a complete rebrand. They've got a, a new logo, a new style. And I really love it. I didn't get much from them just because I had a lot of their products at home. But yeah, I'm keen to try out the CC cream that I wanted to get last time I didn't get it. So that's what happens when you don't let me buy things that I want. I go back and get it two years later. One year later. And I also got um, this eyeshadow palette from the face shop. This is the Mono Pop Eyes in number one chic. Blue. This was also on sale. I mostly got it because it was on sale to be honest. I'm not like keen on this packaging I really wish that they had done a bit more with this Marvel collaboration But one thing that I thought was really cool was that when you open it up the Palette is covered by like this marble print, but you know, I mean that's just paper. These are the colors that are inside um, The product seems all right like the blue looks a little bit chalky and not as creamy and easy to blend as I thought it would be but I haven't given this like a fair chance yet so I'm going to be doing that. This was on sale I think it was only like 10,000 won so it was only like $12 Australian or $10, um, $10 USD so it was a good purchase. It doesn't matter. Uh, holiday palettes. I got this one from Etude House. This is their Universe Multi Palette in Golden Galaxy. Weirdly enough, I found the Golden Galaxy blended out a lot better than their Cool Tone palette, but I don't know. I just got this one since this one seemed, I like the case better and it just blended out nicer. 
and that is the inside how pretty is that I'm really keen to give it a like a good shot so once I finish filming this video I'm going to open up all my stuff and start testing it out and the good stuff I will be posting about on my blog as well okay we're about halfway there we're getting there yes I got a bunch of the Peripera inks so I got one of their ink sticks which is like the lipstick this is really good I also got one for Sophia as well um, I also got two of the ink moist this is in Soul Burgundy and the cutest pink I have like one of their moist um, inks at home and I really really like the formula like as soon as I got back and started using it I really regretted only getting one so I grabbed all the two colors that I liked I also got one more ink velvet this is in dollish beige rose and this was like a really pretty sort of rosy pink I guess I can't remember what color I bought but yeah it was like a really pretty color I just swatched it on my hand and then I went, okay, this one, this one, this one. I'm like a really quick shopper in Korea. I also went to Laneige and I got this one. This is the Skin Veil Base Dot Cushion. This is a color correcting cushion. I got it in light purple because I really like to brighten up my skin. I find that my skin feels really dull at times. This is a collab, like a special edition between Laneige and YC. I don't know but it has like a special case to be honest I'm like not that keen on this case I really wish that they'd done more of it I feel like some of the other like Laneige cases look better but I think I'm just kind of making it a thing to start collecting the Laneige like special edition cases another one from the face shop you might notice I got quite a bit from them is this one this hoodie Ryan one oh my gosh look at how cute that is I love it, it's just so cute. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to listen a little bit carefully. Um, this Mono Pop Eyes palette comes in two different colors. I got one of them, I got the matte neutral sort of shade. Look at how cute, oh, look at how cute that packaging is. It's got like little Ryan's just running across the screen. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like really cute and like I've been really into matte shades lately and most of the palettes I have like they're mostly shimmers with a couple of mattes and I really wanted like an all matte palette so when I saw this one I was just like yep easy grabbed and I also love the case like look at this they look like Ryan I know my brows aren't as straight today as they are sometimes but my sister reckons I have Ryan brows I think it's really cute huh and I also went to Watson's I grabbed some Cosrx and uh, this is their one step moisture up pad I have their acne pads at home um, I don't get as much breakouts and acne so I don't use it as much but I do use it it's quite good but um, I do have like very dry skin so I thought the one step moisture up pad would be a good choice to try out oh my goodness I got two more cushions from Laneige. I got the whitening cushion, which is the one that I use right now, and like it's like my HG number one favorite cushion. I also got their pore control to try out as well, and both of these are in number 21 beige. I got two of the lip sleeping masks. I know that like a lot of people feel like this product's overrated, but I personally really love it. I use it most nights. I've been using the berry one, so I grabbed another berry one. I also grabbed the grapefruit one to try. Um, I had a look at the vanilla and the apple one, and uh, I'm alright with the scent, but to be honest, I prefer these sort of scents, so just grab these. Almost there. <laughs> I got the eye sleeping mask. This one I saw online and I really wanted to try out. It's basically the sleeping mask formula, but this one's for eyes, of course. Comes in a bottle like this. But you also have an additional applicator which has like a little marble ball, that's this one, which is like really like cooling and it's just like really good for under the eyes, just like to de-puff and everything and I just put that under my eye and got makeup on it, but I'll clean that. <laughs> and um, this one wasn't on sale or anything, Laneige doesn't sell as much as I hoped that they would, but um, 
I was really wanting to try this, so I just grabbed it anyway. Like, no one was going to stop me. Okay, and I got more... Ooh, I got more of their water sleeping masks. I got four of their water sleeping masks because... Uh, Two of these are for my mom, two of these are for me. I got another, like, two for my sister. But yeah, so I got two of the lavender and two of the original ones. My mom really likes the lavender scent. I actually prefer the original scent, but we're going to use them anyway. I love these. I actually put them on my dad while I was in Korea, and I was just like, look at your skin. It's, like, nice. Like, finally, you're putting something on your face that isn't hand cream. Yeah, my dad puts hand cream on his face. But yeah, um, almost there. Um, I got three sprays from Nature Republic. This is the Aloe Vera Soothing Gel Mist. I got one of these when I was there last year and I, I finished up the whole bottle. So this time when I was in the airport, I just grabbed another three. Um, Star Nanda, I also got the Boosting Sun Mist. This is like a mist, but it's a sunscreen. So I won't spray it now, but I thought it was like a really cool concept and um, I live in Australia so you really can't get enough SPF so I thought this was going to be really handy. Got a bunch of stuff from Moonshot. Oh my, oh, broke the bag. So I got three more of their jelly pots. Um, I also have a review of their jelly pots on my blog. These three are, what colour did I get? I got Moon Noir. Warm Dress and Peach Crush. So it's like one of them's a shimmer, one's a glitter, and one's a matte. Uh, they've changed up the packaging on these as well, just like slightly. I think they've just rebranded it a little, but overall the formula and everything's still the same. And these are sealed, so I can't open these up, but look at that. It's like really pretty. So I just grabbed three of them. They're like they're a bit expensive, they're not like cheap or anything. Um, they're available in Sephora if you can't go to Korea, but I think they're just a really interesting product. Even though they're a bit expensive, I'm okay with paying a bit more for them. Aside from that, I got their drawing pencils. This is the First Moon Drawing Wireless. I think the color, the color is called Wireless. So the store assistant had tried this on my eyes in store. And it was just really pretty and it lasted really well as well. I'm gonna try and swatch this for you. So this one was like a really oh sorry, that was like a really mini swatch. I hope you guys can see that. It was like a really pretty sort of goldish colour and it just looked really nice in my eyes. So I grabbed one of those. And of course, I also grabbed two lip products from them. Um, I got two of their lip pencils. I was going to get their lipsticks, but I was just having too much trouble picking out what color I wanted. So, and I, this this is the first Moon Drawing Sun Real. Oh, okay. So the colors on the top. All right. Sorry. So the wireless one, I got it in one nine oh four. Why aren't the color names? Oh well. And the two lip colors that I got is in 5005 and 5004. And they're like really pretty. So I come in this like sort of like twist up thing and you just look at how smooth that is. I'm so keen to be trying these out. I love Moonshot, like a lot of their props are just so good. And like, yeah, super, super excited about this. I'm glad I finally made this video so I can get them out and start using them. So aside from that, I also got one of their cream paints. I got this one as a free gift because I spent so bloody much money in store. Um, I got this one in 805. This is English Toffee. And it's like a really pretty, like, almost, not really my lips were better, but like, yeah, it's just like a really pretty color. It smells nice. The cream paint is really thick though so I don't know I don't know how I feel about this so I'm gonna give this one a try and see how I go with that okay so aside from that I also have this is a pouch from Etude House and what I did was I put like all my smaller loose products in here so I have an entire pouch of products I got two of these puffs from Etude House um, one is smooth glow and one is smooth matte 
So these have a different finish on the back and I don't know how these are going to turn out but I'm interested to give them a shot. Um, I got the Kill Cover Pro Artist Liquid Color Corrector from Clio. I was planning on getting the peachy one for my under eyes but because I have like a slight warm undertone I was recommended to use this one under my eyes instead. I got two of these from Etude House as well as two of their Dear Darling tints. So these are Dear Darling tints and oh this is also Dear Darling tint. Okay so I actually like tried these on my lips already and I found that there was a bit of a difference. This one applies a little bit more thick whereas this one really seems very watery very very light so I'm surprised that they're actually the same product but um yeah so I got them in four different colors this one's PK003 um this is blue BL601 why aren't there names that I can read uh PK006 this was a, a glittery one that I was really keen to try and RD306 which is a really pretty deeper red um, I got some stuff from, oh my, I got these two eyeshadows from Misha, which Shin Nim had actually used on her channel, so I was like really keen to try it this whole time. I got it in Peach Smoothie, and also in Beauty Hunt, which is like a redder colour, reddish colour. Um, I'll swatch these for you, but like the palette looks so pretty that like, I'm kind of terrified to touch it so I don't know how long it's going to take me until I actually use these because they are too pretty to wreck anyway look at that because my camera just won't focus for some reason but yeah so they're like really pretty I test them in store I had to like buy a couple more items to make like a certain like spending threshold so I like very quickly grabbed them I got two of the Star Nanda Velvet Lip Tints these are very very new and a couple of the colours are like very very sold out as well. So one of the colours I wanted wasn't available but I did get two of them. I got this red one which is called Save Me and a more like nudish one called Near and Dear. The formula seems a little bit similar to the Peri Para um, Airy Ink Velvets. So I'm keen to try these out. The colours are really pretty when I swatched it in store. I also got another one of their Tattoo Lip Tints. I have a review of this on my blog as well and people should know that I love these. They just like stay on all day and like they're just so pigmented. So I got another one in Coolest. And let's see what else I got in here. Alright. We're getting there. Um, I got this lip colour. This is a Style Nanda lip colour. This is from their Mood Recipe Collection. This is in Mirror Like, which I saw online and I was just like, I need it. It's just so pretty. This is like very, very, very matte. And I do like the 3C matte um, lipsticks. They're a little bit dry, but I can make this work. I just love the color so much that I didn't really care what finish it was. I just wanted it, you know? And then I got lipsticks from Etude House. This is the last product here. Um, this is the Be My Universe Dear My Lips Talk. I got two of their cases because I love the limited edition cases. Like, oh my goodness. And um, I got one of the colours um, from the Be My Universe collection. This is PP502 Aurora Purple. So it's like a purple shade. And I also got like a sort of like nudish colour BE101 Skinny Beige I think it's called Skinny Beige but this is from the original collection and that is about it I did get a couple of like little sample gifts and like um, some pens and like clothes and a lot of accessories and stuff as well that I'm not showing in this video but you guys will catch that on Instagram in total, in the four days, I spent, I think, like, just over 2000 in Korea, like 2500 maybe, um, Australian dollars, which, yeah, I spent quite a bit, but, um, I think I got a good deal out of myself. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did you like this video? Do you want me to do more hauls like this? I 
do shop a lot which is an issue but if I were to do more haul videos I honestly could um, let me know if you like this or not uh, if you have any questions about the products let me know down below as well and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities I'm gonna start testing these out um, anything that's interesting, I'm going to post up a review video for it as well. And you can also find posts about this on my Instagram and, of course, on my blog. And uh, that's it for today. I'm going to go take my makeup off and probably take a nap because I'm still recovering from my um, jet lag and I'm like, constantly exhausted. Well, I will catch you guys next time. Until then, have a great day. Bye!